LA Good Vibes. Study of the project. To start the project, I had to check my physics courses to remind me of the relationship between watts, amps, and volts to be able to measure exactly what would be the consumption of each device. For a synth or a computer, it is simple. You just have to connect it to the wattmeter. For some speakers, for example, the question was to know, when we listened with a moderate volume, we have a certain consumption. What would be the maximum consumption if we listen at full volume? Test de consommation électrique. For this, the only solution was to use some cushions to be able to increase the volume to the max, and thus be able to measure electricity consumption. For example, the two Yamaha speakers in the subwoofer boxes at its peak were 264.6 watts per hour. We do the same with each of the devices that could be on the bus. and in that way, create a table containing all the information necessary to calculate the battery cluster. The second part of this study concerns the interior design. How to put together a recording studio, a shower, a kitchen, a cabin to record vocals or to record a musician, bedrooms, the space to store the material. So today with uh, Raphael, we are working on the SketchUp, the final SketchUp to... For this, I asked my brother Raphael for help, who is very, very good at SketchUp, it must be said. I then asked him to model the bus in order to visualize the best solution. The 3D projection will allow us to determine the ideal studio place. I mean, instead of the room. Wait all, that's good. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to make a cut. It's this section plane. I think it's this. This is it. We no longer see the top. Ah, vocal booth. Super. Great. we we'll just uh, drop the, yeah, the roof with the solar. Yeah. This 3D preview will allow us to imagine a sliding rail system to increase the surface of the solar panels. Going from uh, 6 to 12 panel. Like this. We're trying everything first on the computer <laughs> and then it's going to be for real. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Raphael. Welcome. LA Good Vibe. Find the vehicle. After one day, I found the right one. A Terra 2009 Fleetwood, 36 feet. The outward appearance, classic. However, what a surprise when I stepped into it. It was dirty, very dirty. In fact, almost spoiled. Probably the previous owner had dogs, cats, or wild animals. The kitchen was classic, basic, but most of all, there was space. I was already imagining where and how to do the recording studio. I immediately loved the bedrooms at the back in the main room. They were perfect for doing a studio. Instead of the bed, we would put two bunk beds, easy. There were some drawers where we could save everything easily, storing music instruments. Above all, I was going to get rid of the generator. It makes noise, stinks, and it's heavy. We had enough work. Headlights to change, scratches everywhere. Also, we had to think about how to clean the roof. There could be nothing left on the roof to be able to install the solar panels. We had to remove everything. Enough waterproofing work with water leaks coming from the ceiling of the blinds quite a few other jobs to envision. Between them, understand why there was an oil leak under the vehicle. Check the condition of the engine. Check why there were loose wires. And above all, a lot of cleaning. Remove the carcasses of birds above the kitchen. In addition to review why there was mouse droppings everywhere. Even in the engine. Everything ready? Everybody ready? Yep. Wait. Wait. <laughs> All that remained was to do a driving test to see if I felt good with that kind of vehicle. Luckily, I did my first lap in California. However, it was in the rain. I was far from comfortable when I hit the highway for several reasons. First, because it is an imposing vehicle. The road was under construction. It was raining. And to top it off, 
there was a police car right behind me. I had then a slight pressure during the first miles traveled with this new ship. I'm super focused. <laughs> I was determined. It was a good one though. It was very expensive, $55,000. I then proposed $30,000. And finally, we agreed to the sum of $33,000. I became an owner. We had to start working then to modify everything. Two essential things before starting the first jobs. To start with, an oil change. Charles' specialty. We leave it to him then. Oh, shall yes. Because in a few hours, we would go to Arizona. Why? Because it was the second essential thing before we start the work. I wanted to meet an engineer, an expert in solar products and caravans. He's been living off the grid for three years now, with his wife living on a bus. He sold his house. I asked him to help me and explain how does it work. He was very happy to meet me. Then we did six to eight hours on the road for the next morning. LA Good Vibe. Learn, understand. Departure at 5 in the morning from Los Angeles to La Paz Valley in Arizona to meet with Pear. He gave me his address, which are GPS coordinates, since he lives in the desert. Nothing more normal than that. Hello everyone, welcome on board. This is the first trip, first trip ever. We're going to Arizona, it's pretty early in the morning. After an eight hour drive, we met Pear, who came looking for us on the side of the road to help us find his camp. We followed his Jeep to get to his bus. Pear and his wife Suzanne live on a bus. But it's not just any bus. Look at this photo. Mine is below. The one in white is 36 feet long. His is above with a trailer in addition. 14 solar panels giving him enough power to live off the grid with his wife. Uh, from the trailer and one coming down from the roof in here. Yeah. And you can He's happy to meet someone like me who asks him questions about his installation. Everyone thinks he is crazy with his arrangements. It must be said that he did it all himself. From concept to realization, going through the installation, it's simple. Only he can understand it. The more I listen to him, the more I say to myself, What are you doing, Joachim? Why did you do that? Why did you buy that bus? I understand above all that I am going to learn many things for the next few months. Very important things. For example, how to make a homemade syrup recipe to cool secondhand Tesla batteries. The only system in the world imagined by Pierce. It's not for me. It has 4,000 watts of solar panels. Very good. 16 kilowatts of Tesla batteries. Super. However, it can catch fire. Its maintenance is not easy. Therefore, no company would agree to insure my bus. If I bring people on board with a system that is not guaranteed to be 100% reliable. Pierce then accepts, in exchange for a French meal, to help me build a simpler system with more current, which could be insured by a company. We spent much of the night working on the implementation plans, the list of necessary materials, schematics. I show him the 3D results of what I would like to do. He also tells me about his life. Since three and a half years ago, he travels every 15 days from BLM to BLM. BLM stands for Bureau of Land Management. What for me was a great discovery. It's what they call the free lands. The free lands that belong to all Americans. 539 million acres in the West. 60 times the region of Paris, with two simple rules to be respected. The first is not to stay more than 14 days in the same place. The second is to leave no waste, leave no trace, take it all with you. I understand better now why there were so many beautiful RVs on the highway in Arizona with so many people who live like this. Back in Los Angeles, with plans and lists of materials and most of all with many ideas in mind. How about we make a bed on the dashboard? And yes, it is possible. We have to quickly find a space to store cooling equipment. We also have to come up with an idea on how to use the studio when the slide out is opened or closed.
It's one in the morning, the perfect time to make a stop at the gas station, and why not? Charles decided to use the grinder to repair the rear trunk door that would not stop opening. LA Good Vibe Renovation Part 1 Back to Los Angeles. It is time to establish headquarters. A headquarters to group all the information, always available, so that all ideas can germinate and thus be able to have a global vision of the situation concerning electricity, as well as the design, raw materials, the price of raw materials, employees. This global vision will allow me to establish a calendar. And I will never be able to thank my wife Annabelle enough who had the patience to let me occupy the kitchen for long weeks. This board will be very practical to make videos and send it to certain people to see how they could help me and if I have to search for something special. That way it's easier for me to start launching a collaboration with brands like Focal, Arturia, but also with Battleborn for batteries. This equipment I will put everywhere, front, back, outside. I also have a giant cabin where you can take a few voice shots. On the roof, some solar panels. That will allow us to make recordings on sites like this. This is the technical scheme. Okay, everybody, I hope you're ready. So this is the first minute. We're gonna we start really started the renovation. You have to start with something. Then I'm going to remove the background picture in the room. It is symbolic. But that painting was really the representation of the old caravan. It's time to start the renovation. It was time to start the adventure and the good vibe. New materials, new kitchen, new electrical work. We do everything again. We do it all again. First of all, the priority was to remove the old air conditioning that was on the ceiling and thus allow space for installation of solar panels. We had a meeting in Arizona with James, a former engineer specializing in solar installations. We calculate the weight. Here is a very important tool, which will serve us a lot during this renovation. A scale. Why? Because it's very important to weigh everything we take off the bus. We have a maximum weight. You have to know that we are going to add solar panels, batteries, and all that weighs a lot. So every pound we save will weigh in our favor. The day starts at 5 in the morning. However, they are not long enough. With all the surprises that we come across. Thousands of staples hold the carpet. We have to remove them one by one. We have to redo the kitchen completely, since I decided to embed the gas. We have to redo whole parts of the floor, damaged by water infiltration. In other words, quite a routine. And then the drama happened. When we remove the big bed at the bottom of the room to make a cabin, to be able to have space and thus be able to record a drum, we realized that the bed hit an engine. And the problem was that the motor was in the middle of the room. We had to redo the entire system. There it was, already much more than a simple DIY. We weren't in renovations anymore. Charles had to find a way to move the motor, saving the possibility of opening the slide out. And that everything was strong enough because we were going to set up two bunk beds in the slide out. It only took a few days to find the ideal place. The ideal place should have enough space to eject the slide out, but also to be able to find some dumpsters at the correct height. In a few hours, Charles is going to eject the slide out, move the motor, cut the rail, reattach the engine. The miracle was done. We went from an XXL bed with a motor in the middle of the room to two bunk beds in the slide out. Charles is the best. The truth is that we are the only RV that has that system. Well done. It's unique and made to measure. Charles got me to make him some cookies on the bus and a good nap in the new dorms. LA Good Vibe. 
Renovation Part 2 A friend enters the scene. His name is Fredo. When I offered him to come to Los Angeles for 15 days to do forced labor in exchange for food, a place to sleep, and a plane ticket, he said yes immediately. Long story short, Fredo is like MacGyver. He knows how to do everything, and anything he still doesn't know how to do well, he is going to discover it and learn how to do it. He's going to put the air conditioner on. We'll prepare all the electricity for the solar panels. We'll put the new water circuit, and we will install the dynamat over the entire surface of the bus to have incredible acoustic isolation, worthy of the crossing between a professional recording studio and a limousine. The sound must be perfect inside the bus, even on the road. Then begins the hunt for vibrations. After a few days, the kitchen begins to resemble what I had imagined, with the style of a recording studio. We will now be able to concentrate on the studio part. I look again at the plans made by Raphael and SketchUp, where there is a kind of fly case with wheels where people can sit. It's not very sexy, and after some internet searches, I realize that we will have to find something else. We then go to the scrapyard. So we are in the middle of the jungle. As you can see behind me, there's uh, tons and tons of cars around. I don't know about you, but for me it was the first time I was going to a scrapyard. And it really is amazing. A cemetery of several acres, with all those corpses of crashed cars. An apocalyptic place where you meet zombies coming to shred those carcasses. Just... Do you want a souvenir? <laughs> Finally, it is a friend, Maxime, an automobile engineer who will find the seat in a junkyard in Alabama. So, live in Alabama, Woodstock Auto Salvage, and here is a wonderful seat. Here we are. We are the seat tracker. <laughs> Thanks, Maxime, for having spent weekends in the scrapyards, waiting to receive the seat by mail. We'll start outside. A very difficult task removing all the stickers and glue residue in order to apply the new coverage. For info, it took us several days to clean more than 750 square feet. I propose a fairly refined design, based on black and two shades of gray. I wanted something sober and modern, something very Space Invaders, a real spaceship. Thanks to that coverage, we are going to move from an RV for grandparents to LA Good Vibe. The first mobile solar recording studio. LA Good Vibe. Solar energy. We're going to Arizona for the solar equipment. After having studied several budgets, I decided to work with a company located in Arizona. Why? because that state had the good idea to impose that all products dealing with solar energy or renewable energy are sold tax-free. So let's go! So let's go to Flagstaff in Arizona. A chance for Charles to take command for the first time. The first time someone other than me drives LA Good Vibe. Charles, be careful with the baby. Yes, like stepping on eggs. The first person and the first miles with someone other than the owner. After eight hours on the road, we arrived at James's. The idea is to spend the weekend with him and install the solar panels, the rails, as well as all electronic and electrical equipment in a day and a half. This guy knows best. He is an expert. Last year, he installed more than 150 solar installations in houses or in RVs. Is the shit. No, the shit. It's the shit. We then start a time trial. We will have a day and a half to install the batteries, pull and lay more than two kilometers of cables, install rails on the roof, install, fix, and configure most instruments for electronic measurements, move a full water pipeline, install, drill, screw, open holes, disassemble, drill again, disassemble again, move again, stick, clean, play hide and seek under the bus. It goes up in there. While some have fun, others work. Emil came to help with the installation of all the audio cables inside the bus and in some compartments.
install the famous snake that will feed the five different audio zones, as provided in my little schematic. The first day soon ends. The sun starts to disappear, and we are at an altitude of more than 6,560 feet above sea level, so it starts to get really cold. And it is just before sunset that the miracle happened. The 10 solar panels are installed, and we are going to be able to do a rehearsal before morning. To summarize, the solar panels are activated. We've already stored 1,505 watts, and we only consumed 430 watts. Since we have a heater that I turned on, because it's cold outside. It is a very beautiful morning, very sunny, but very cold. We are in Flagstaff, therefore at a high altitude. We turned on the heating that consumes 400 watts, but as we produced 1500 watts, we charged the batteries. We are already disconnected. Sure equals zero watts. What a pleasure that first morning in Flagstaff. Wake up and see that everything works wonders. The installation is perfect. James is very happy and proud. We posed for a souvenir photo before we go to the Grand Canyon. It will be our first stage to test solar energy. But above all, it's way time. We must know if the batteries, plus the rails, plus the electronics, plus the solar panels, is equal to what we removed during the bus renovation. We must importantly be below 9,200 kilos. That is, 20,500 pounds. Good news! We are at 19,520 pounds, or 9 tons. We take the opportunity to clean the windshield, and then we go to the Grand Canyon. It's hard to explain how exciting it is to go on an adventure with no one around, knowing that solar energy is there for us in an unlimited, infinite way, which will allow us to lose ourselves voluntarily. Go far away, and as long as you have water, you can keep rolling, rolling, rolling away. Back to California, in a bus, where energy is a gift from the sun. It's magical. Thousands of things remain to be done, clearly. Though that day we were really happy, we had exceeded an important stage. LA Good Vibe. The details make the difference. Steve Jobs used to say the difference was in the details, and of course, he is right. The problem is that the details take too long. I decided then to summarize in a very simple list the thousands of tasks that remain to be done before launching the LA Good Vibe project. The seat arrived. We have to fix it. At the same time, to be able to move it, to be able to tilt it, and it has to be able to come on the rail, create the office, made to measure, at the right height. As we were in it, we did a live rehearsal with my son and his PS4, thus verifying the comfort of the study, the stability of the online modem, and we take advantage to take off for a ride. Put a third seat in the front. Who is going to give us the color of all the cushions? In fact, I found a craftsman I trust to do the job of dressing all the seats and cushions on the bus. We'll stay with the grays. In total, it's more than a week of work to cover the whole set. I'm running the race and I'm glad. Uh, uh, I'm in first place and I'm zooming past. Even more so when Charles decides to remove the dashboard. Prepare for the before-after effect. This is before and this is after. The custom kitchen furniture becomes black. Now we have to paint the drawers. 
and the cupboards in the studio fly case style. It will take more than 10 days to fix about 50 pieces. We killed it. But let's go back, as it was six months before. Here we are also going to do the before after effect. So before, and then after. I swear it's the same bus. I'm running the race and I'm glad. Uh, we then put the shelf the above the driver. The pass. Yeah. I'm running the race and I'm glad. Uh, uh, I'm in first place and I'm zooming past. Secure yeah. the trunk doors that protect the air conditioning. We'll redo the bus's lighting entirely with LED. Install the iPads to decorate, as well as navigation and sound control in all zones. Undo the office to reinstall a system that raises a screen. Disassemble and sell the antiques of distant times. The generator, 262 pounds less. Installation of a new gray floor. Cover the table with gray. Make the back bedrooms to have two positions. One for the day, studio style and recordings, and another position for the night when it's time to sleep. Opening holes in the ceiling to create shafts of light with the help of plexiglass. It's mandatory to look at the stars at night and the palm trees during the day. Rear room accommodation to add a TV, cabinets and drawers. And to differentiate the drawers, we'll put plates on them that'll do the count of the symbolic sites that we'll have to visit in Arizona, California, Utah and Nevada. Here we have to put a mirror. We must not forget. This is clearly much better. Thanks. From the beginning of this adventure, my dream was to have the best sound. A powerful and precise sound, warm and well-defined. Luckily, I'm lucky to be able to count on Focal, French brand known throughout the world. And this morning is like Christmas. They've arrived. In total, I installed an LA Good Vibes bus, four subs, 10 Twitters, Solo 6 Series, 300 Series. The sound is magnificent. Want to see what a good sound is? Come this way. What a sound! Sound is the best. It took us several hours to install those speakers recessed in the ceiling, hiding the subs, passing the cables to feed all that. And what about the sound? What a joy! I love it! That's good vibe! We have finished all the renovation part. Well, when I say we're done, it's never ending actually. There are always a few things left to add to improve, details to be polished, but we can say that in some very intense months, we've been able to give a life to the LA Good Vibe project. Before, after, before, after. Thanks to Charles, Fredo, Raphael, Maxime, James, Emile, Pauline, Annabelle, Focal, Arturia, Chauvet DJ, for helping me realize a child's dream. Thank you.
LA Good Vibe. Travel. Now that you know the stage, I'm going to show you in the last chapter the visible part of the iceberg. I will take you with me to incredible places. We will share unique moments together of creation, of dizzying sensation, of large spaces. Hello everyone, this is your captain, Joaquin Garland speaking. Welcome aboard, LA Good Vibe. Relax, take off is imminent. went with the group Yard of Blondes aboard LA Good Vibe. We went to the middle of the desert to record a song in a video. The idea is to record a song outdoors and indoors using the bus, taking the opportunity to record a video, record, produce, mix, and master, all in the same day, and thanks to Solar Energy. Another project, putting the bus at the service of fashion photos. LA Good Vibe participate in the filming of Kirsten and Ridwello, which will also allow us to take some photos for the magazine, Maxim. We also did a set for underground music in the middle of nowhere. Go on a mission to the moon or on Mars. You choose. Command override off. Engine arm off. 13 feet. 14 feet. We admired and counted the stars. We composed on the road to Burning Man. We wrote and recorded the track back in the 90s with Miriam Love. I remember that day when the DJ was playing Inner City, Technotronics Crystal Waters, CNC Music Factory. We shot and produced three tracks for a Geister. finish this demo, I suggest that we see the first video of this collaboration with Gail Benjamin, directed by Olivier Boscovich. The images are from Charles Kulin. I am happy to be a co-songwriter and co-author with Gail on this track called Michelle's Flow, in exclusivity and first broadcast. Everything was produced, recorded, and mixed with solar energy aboard L.A. Good Vibe. Swing the blues, the pick a 
tu es né Où c'est relié les wagonnets Chanter le jazz, le groupe juste pour danser Oh, 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 oh,